Uh, I am Guidance Counselor Scalzi. Principal <laughs> Scorn was called away on a parent-teacher conference. Some of you have been very, very bad with the googly eyes. <laughs> we're not, we're not going to name who it is. Wheaton. But, <laughs> but let's just say, let, yeah. But you did very, very clear, it's okay to use the sticky stuff that comes with the googly eyes. When you solder them, <laughs> then we get charged for that. And kids, that's just not cool, okay? Okay, we have uh, coming up next, the fabulous, delicious, Clint McElroy. <laughs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I am, we well, already know, because he said my name. Um, I'm here to perform for you an amazing act of ledger domain, um, which I say only because I'm not 100% sure what ledger domain means, <laughs> but this will probably be some ledger domain shit going on here today. <laughs> I'm going to perform for you for the first time ever, anywhere. I'm going to try to escape from a straitjacket. Will you please welcome my lovely wife, Mildred? Whose name is really Carol. This is a legitimate straight jacket, a real, honest to God straight jacket. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. The funny thing is that, uh, oh, wait. Oh, God, thank you. I almost lost the crotch strap. Now, here, okay, so. You can see that it's an actual straight jacket. Honey, honey, do, do the buckles. Do the buckles. <laughs> yeah, I have until we get to San Juan to do this. Now, it might surprise you, I've never tried this before. <laughs> What also, what also might surprise you is when I said backstage that I was doing a straight jacket escape, Pat Roth and said, well, I'm glad I didn't bring my straight jacket. <laughs> now, the first straight jacket escape attempted in the United States was tried by famous magician Harry Houdini's twin brother, Larry Houdini. <laughs> It was not well done. Larry was actually nine minutes older. Oh, sorry. Larry, here. I gotta talk to the microphone, it's my job. Larry was about nine minutes older, which meant that he was actually the better escape artist. I actually did this whole bit just to do that joke. Now, the longest duration of an escape from a straitjacket, oh, sorry, was by the famous magician uh, Harry Blackstone Jr.'s twin brother, Larry Blackstone Jr., 14 hours and 22 minutes. Oh, God. I know, I know. This, is, this was my intent. Now we jump ahead to 1947, and the President of the United States, well, oh God, bless America, said the President of the United States, who of course was Harry S. Truman's twin brother, you guessed it, no, of course not, that stupid, it was Gary, Gary Truman, oh God, I did not know that was part of the experiment. Oh, and 
actually. <laughs> oh, no, no, it's not. It's not, not fun at all. Um, <clears throat> man, I really should have thought this through. Okay, now, I asked my sons for advice. Oh, stay here, stay here. Stay here. I asked my sons for advice. Uh, Travis said, well, do what Houdini did, expand your chest, and, well, that ship's already sailed, so that was not going to happen. <laughs> Uh, Griffin said, make sure they have oxygen and defibrillator paddles ready. And Justin said, for the love of God, please don't do this. <laughs> All right, I need a volunteer from the audience. Uh, I uh, how about, oh, crap, I'm not going to be able to point to anybody. Uh, how about right here in the front, right here in the front with the, yes, come on up here. Please step up. I can't hand you the microphone, so will you please tell me your name? Kendra. Hi, Kendra. Have you and I ever met before? I don't think so. Okay. God, I need you a little more positive than that. <laughs> Are you, in fact, related to me as a McElroy or an in-law? All right, Kendra, I would like you to inspect the buckles. Make sure that... Oh, God, no! <laughs> Are they in fact secure? Yes. All right, please step and take a couple steps back. I would like you to stay here as, as my witness with my lovely wife, Mildred, whose real name is Carol. <laughs> now, in case you have ever tried to escape from a straitjacket before, it is inherently uh, difficult to do. Involving, I'm letting a lot of secrets out here, but that's okay. Um, where you dislocate your joints on purpose, to escape. But I'm going to do it because I want to be able to stand up in front of you people and proudly say, I did it. Because you need to take pride in your accomplishments. You need to try things you've never tried before and succeed so that you can say those three words, I did it. Now, watch and be amazed by Clint McElroy's straight check of escape. just enough to say he had complete confidence in me. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come on, is that the only person that believes in me? Can we impose you back out here? Okay, wait. 
All right, now, Kendra, undo the third buckle. Wait, no, wait, trust me, wait for it. Wait for it. What? Please undo the third buckle. You better say thank you. It's, I, will, I will say thank you, along with those three words. You, you remember, I, I love you. Uh, I really love you because you're undoing the damn buckles. Okay. All right, so that's three buckles undone. Not yet. Not yet? Two and a half buckles. What time is it, by the way? Okay, now. Kendra, will you undo the last buckle? Pretty please, pretty please. And I will say thank you. And I'll, I'll pay for your food at the Lido market. Okay, just the fourth buckle then. How many damn buckles is this a thing to have? Six. Six buckles. <laughs> okay. Is that it? Is there another one? Okay, undo the fifth buckle. Yeah, I'm feeling it now. I think I... Oh! Oh, that's it. Yeah, team up. Team up on me. Okay. I'm gonna have to watch the crotch strap because my wife is standing right there. <laughs> All right, ah, uh, yeah, I'm feeling, I'm feeling a lot better about this trick now. Okay, are you still with me? Yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think you will now see. Oh yeah, do the, Carol, you do the crotch. You know, just like our honeymoon. Now, ladies and gentlemen, yeah, they're tough to get out of. <laughs> I think that. Okay. Now, ladies and gentlemen, wait a minute. Wait a minute, she said anxiously. When we began this journey, this long journey, two and a half hours ago, I said, using only the power of my mind, I was going to escape from this journey and say those three little words. I did it. That's why I can't say those three little words. So I guess I'll just have to leave it up to my shirt to say. Thank you. This will be for sale in the ship store, along with the freaking straight jacket. Thank you. Quick, come see me after class. You have to do a tutorial on false advertising. And now we are done. Thank you all so much. Let's uh, do a hand for our performance tonight. We in fact did it. We went outside of our comfort zones and, and had a good time. And uh, we hope you enjoyed it. Let them know if you want to see this again and have other performers make delightful fools of themselves. Good night, everybody.